Well, in this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate detention time. Now, detention time is a theoretical value of how long water stays in a process or in a tank before flowing out. So water flows in and then it moves out. Well, we want to see how long it stayed in that tank or basin or that process. So this is a detention time problem. Well, let's go to the board and see what the problem says. This problem reads, a round clarifier handles a flow of 1 million gallon per day. The clarifier is 52 feet in diameter and has a depth of 8 feet. Find the clarifier detention time in hours. So like we always do, we want to write down the information that they give us. Starting with our unknown information, they want us to find detention time in hours, so we write that down. They also gave us our flow as 1 million gallons per day, so we write that down. They told us the diameter of the tank, 52 feet, that gets written down. And then the depth of the tank is 8 feet, so we write that down. Well, now that we have the information written down, we're going to write down a formula that will give us this answer. So we use our detention time formula, which says detention time equals volume divided by flow. Well, we're going to have to calculate the volume of this tank. They didn't give us the volume of the tank, so we're going to calculate the volume. And we'll use the formula that says 0.785 times the diameter times the diameter times the depth times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot is how many gallons are in this tank. So we're going to use the information they gave us, the diameter and the depth, and solve for the volume of this tank. And when we do that, we see that the volume is 127,019 gallons, or we can also call that 0.127 million gallons. Well, now that we know the volume of the tank, they gave us the flow, we can plug those in and solve this problem. So we plug in our 0.127 MGD, and divide that by 1 million gallons per day, and when we do that math, we get 0.127 days. So our detention time is 0.127 days. Well, the question wants our detention time in hours. So now we have to convert the days to hours. So to do that, we'll do a simple unit conversion. We'll start with our 0.127 days. And we know that one day is 24 hours. Our days cancel each other out. We're left with hours. And when we do this math, we see that our detention time is three hours. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved. Mm -hmm.